Today we just wanted to do a quick little video showing you how you can actually maximize the battery uh, performance on the BlackBerry Priv which is a very beautiful device uh, but you know the battery I uh, think uh, could be improved a little bit you know it has got the combination of a very power hungry uh, display and power hungry processor uh, so you know there are some little things here which I did want to show you that you can do uh, so we can have a look in the settings here first things first and basically go through the main stuff uh, so you can see we do have the uh, Wi-Fi settings here uh, and if you go to the advanced uh, you can see we do have uh, some settings uh, for example if you do want to get the maximum battery life I'd say put this on uh, never so you don't have to you know uh, have the Wi-Fi on uh, then again you know I'd probably keep it on always because basically if you don't have it on then you're gonna go to 4G uh, which is gonna take even more kind of uh, energy so you will need to get your alerts as well somehow uh, but uh, you know if you do want the maximum battery probably best to put it on never also this scanning always available turn that uh, down to the uh, off position so basically it's not searching for a frequency uh, we could also have some other stuff as well we can have a look at uh, in the settings so for example your location you can see I've got on high accuracy here and with high accuracy a lot of these apps will actually start to use uh, the uh, location GPS chip so uh, I definitely uh, either turn it up well I'd either turn it off or I would uh, where's it gone that was cr crazy uh, I'd turn it off uh, and uh, basically uh, get this uh, down to battery saving uh, if you don't actually use the like uh, locate well if you don't need the location like for example if you just have uh, like offline maps uh, cached you can actually download Google Maps and like cache them to your device uh, so you don't really need uh, you know to have it on really uh, but uh, you could also use the device only and then you can have limited location use uh, for this accelerated location uh, stuff you know I'd probably keep it off it probably uses uh, battery life so uh, other things we can have a look at as well are in the uh, display settings so uh, in the display settings you might want to keep the brightness on adaptive it will dim it a little bit as you can see this is an AMOLED display so when it gets to a certain level you know we might see uh, a little bit of flicker here but uh, you can see it's still relatively bright even though I have like dimmed it uh, so you know you can uh, get the most out of the battery by keeping uh, a track of how bright the display is uh, screen wakes too you know where uh, we can see here we do have some stuff which may use the battery like the, the uh, double tap to wake the screen uh, lift to wake quite a lot of stuff here ambient display battery edge you know get all that off if you are looking for the ma maximum battery here you know some people will say you know why would you buy a smartphone to have uh, you know uh, everything turned off but this is for people who like you know are not going to be around a uh, like uh, you know plug for a while and they want to have the maximum battery uh, here so we are you know going quite thorough uh, we do have some uh, things here as well such as the accounts area now the accounts area you can see we do have auto sync data uh, I'd turn that off basically so that you don't get uh, consistent like push notifications for your accounts coming through uh, like you can see I've only got one account linked up here so for me that's okay uh, there are some other things as well if we look into the battery settings uh, unfortunately we don't have Android Marshmallow here on the BlackBerry Priv but hopefully we'll get that soon uh, we will get additional settings when we do get that but for now you just you just uh, basically have this setting which is uh, the uh, the battery saver setting now this you can use to improve the battery life uh, but you can see it does uh, do quite a lot of things which may be detrimental 
uh, you can see uh, it uh, basically disables the screen brightness makes it a little bit dimmer uh, as well I think uh, it, uh, it encourages you to turn the Wi-Fi off and uh, it also makes this ugly red kind of border in the top so you know personally I wouldn't really bother with that to be honest to me just uh, you know it's going a bit too far if you do need the maximum battery life though you might want to turn that on as well uh, so there are some uh, other things as well such as you know your app usage here uh, for example you can see uh, lots of these apps are using uh, processors when you know you, they don't really need to be such as this one uh, you can go through these and stop them uh, there are apps you can actually download as well that can help you to get to this area quicker so you can uh, get rid of them I think uh, things like Greenify and things like that so definitely uh, worth checking that out advanced interactions you know probably worth taking some of these off uh, also what else do we have uh, so security so I think uh, everything is all up to order there uh, there's probably some others as well somewhere in here so you can see uh, in here we do have NFC make sure that's off very little need for that in day-to-day -day usage obviously tethering that's a big battery drainer uh, you'll also have your mobile settings here uh, you know you can basically uh, choose to go 2G if you want for the maximum battery life but personally I'd say keep it on 3G I think which is a HPSPA plus uh, and uh, UMTS etc so uh, if you do want the maximum one I would suggest going for that and the uh, roaming uh, data roaming I'm not sure if that would uh, increase your battery usage but probably worthwhile turning it off just in case uh, Bluetooth obviously turn that off when you're not using it and uh, I don't think this actually scans when it's off so that's good so following all those things you know I think you will have pretty awesome battery life here you know two three days uh, of heavy usage with the Priv uh, you know there are some uh, other things you could probably try as well such as downloading uh, you know battery savers but I don't like too much clutter on my device uh, but yeah just some practical steps here to increase the battery on your Priv hope you uh, found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one cheers